When I talked about it yesterday just like the struggle I've been having I feel the timing of everything is just insane like this is just such divine timing I felt so awoken being by the sea in Palermo and now I'm here and it is like the most beautiful thing and it's just like my soul literally feels like so happy and joyful it's obviously one day at a time one moment time because it's easy just to jump and be like yeah I'm feeling good and then it's like no but let me give you an airbnb tour because i'm and then i'm really hungry and then i'll probably like check in later or start filming tomorrow because i just want to like relax and breathe and i'm so excited so we're gonna show up inside this is the kitchen there's this little area right here that has like some cups and stuff kitchen everything so there's a dishwasher i have not had a dishwasher yet in my trip so far so this is very, very nice. Nice. I just keep saying nice. I don't know what else to fucking say. Fridge. This is a bathroom. Very cute. And then we go upstairs. Up these little steps to the bedroom. Or the bed. Look how cute that looks. I feel like my camera's not doing justice for what I see in real life. And sometimes that's okay. Then we come over here, giant mirror. And then this is the, like the little living room, little book station. People keep talking about this book or like this author. So I'm like, holy shit, I can't believe this is here. So I honestly might just like take it and try to like read it all in like four days. I don't know if that's possible. Like I'd have to be dedicated. And then this is the best part. Okay. This is. Check out my hands. Yes, like this is the best part. This is my balcony. Like, are you kidding me? Like, and I have this whole little balcony over here. And then you can see more of like the sea and stuff from over here. I feel good right now. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited and I want to start like taking this in. I kind of want, I think this is like perfect because I'm going to almost treat it like a staycation. Like you know how it is when you go to like a beach and your main purpose is just to like relax and chill and like recharge and get off electronics. I'm going to like use that as this time. I'm just going to read and chill. Today is not going to be a beach day because my needs to be. I'm going to charge up my phone. I'm going to chill, read a book. I'm really thirsty, I'm really hungry, and then there's a restaurant literally like right there, you know, like a beach restaurant, and I think I'm just gonna get some food from there, and then I'm gonna head to the grocery store because I feel like this is gonna be such like a staycation kind of trip. Um, obviously I want to do some exploring, but I don't want to pressure myself, but sometimes you just like need to relax because I know the next leg of my trip, there's going to be a lot of exploring and kind of need to walk out and stuff. It's like, when else am I going to get to be able to just like chill by the beach for like a very long time in Italy. I feel good, feeling better. But like I said, I'm trying to just take it one moment at a time because it's very easy, to, easy to get kind of like sucked into having a joyful moment and then feeling like it's just going to stay there forever. It's three o'clock. And I will just like check in tomorrow. I don't know, I'm just like. And I think it's like an even more rewarding feeling because like I know I did this myself. Like no one else is paying for this. No one else is paying for this trip, paying for this Airbnb. Like nothing, like I did this myself. And I think it's like even more rewarding feeling like holy shit, I'm in this beautiful ass place. And like, I did it. Okay, bye.
I got, which I know seems like really dumb, like why would you get that when you're in Italy? But I got some pasta to make, but it was gluten free. And I honestly, I feel like my break just, my body just needs a break from everything that I've been eating. But it's a little hard coming to Italy because, <laughs> you know. So I wanted to go in town and get more food, but I'm not really gonna do that until maybe Monday. Work, But I have leftover pizza because all they had at the restaurant was literally pizza pasta and like sandwiches and i was like oh it's fine thinking it would be like a yummy margarita pizza because it said margarita it was basically like your american version of a cheese slice so and i didn't realize there's no microwave in here <laughs> so now i need to actually put my pizza in the oven i'm like i'm hungry right now worst things to complain about but it's fine i'm just out there reading my book i literally they had the book on the shelf and it hasn't even been one day and I'm 280 pages in. I just have like 70 pages left. So good. Yay! <laughs> of course I burned the pizza. <laughs> no. <laughs> like that shit is, it's done, it's done. Like seriously? Seriously? I should have known. Like, I just did not heat up shit in the oven. I throw it in the fucking microwave.